Alright guys, Tom here and welcome to a new video. If you guys could smash the likes, that'd be absolutely insane. Last video, we got 100 likes. I promised if we got 100, I will upload episode 2 of WWE Supercard on the channel. Obviously, we got 100 likes because here we go, episode 2. We're going to kick things off by, um, well, we're going to go on exhibition. We're going to edit our deck and um, I've got this rare Terry Funk, but honestly... We need more cards because if we want to be challenging very well in these matches, we need much better cards. So we're going to head over to the Fusion Chamber. Now, I didn't play Season 1 that much. So I, if I go on the Fusion Chamber, there's only really, the, I think it's only a, a rare which I can do if I go on random. You need 625 points to get a, a random rare card. Um, but if you go on the uh, Pro Rare... You need 1,250. I don't think I have enough for 1,250. If I just add them, if I just add um, all these, I think it comes to about a thousand points, which I've got, which isn't quite enough for a random pro rare. Um, so there you go. It comes to 1,000. I don't have enough for a random pro rare. I only have enough for a random rare. So we go on the random rare. We are going to add in our cards. These are the season one cards I haven't played with for ages. So we're going to add the Miz. We are going to add Dolph Ziggler. We're going to add Big Show. I really don't care who I add here because I never use them. We'll add a Brie Bella and we'll add the Kane there, which makes up oh, 615. So we need one more. Let's just add Jey Uso. There we go. So activate the fusion chamber. Let's go, guys. Boom. They're gonna all they're all gonna go when we press the yes. So there we go. Yes. Who's it gonna be? Let's claim our results. It is gonna be. Da, da, da. Who is it gonna be? It is gonna be John Cena. That is a pretty good one. There you go, guys. That's one of the best we could have got there. So there you go. Our second rare card. That is absolutely awesome. There you go. A fusion chamber John Cena. That is absolutely great. So if we're gonna add in. That John Cena there, oh, waiting on network. What a shambles. Um, let's add in our John Cena rare. There we go. There you go. Fusion Chamber John Cena rare. Um, but I've taken out Mark Henry. I need to add Mark Henry in. So um, let's swap out Edge for Mark Henry. Because Booker T and Edge go, their chemistry is okay. That'll work. And you've got, then got a John Cena, and then you've got a Terry Thunk. I think we're going to try and, uh, we're trying to um, boost and train John Cena up, because he, he's a better card than the Terry Thunk one, obviously. And, um, yeah, so uh, what I'm going to do now is, I think I'm going to train up or improve this John Cena. So if you notice, if you get to level 5, you will get a token, and then we can improve his stats even further, which I think is really, really fun. I don't think I have any of these. I don't think I've picked up an enhancement card. Um, no, you have no enhancement cards to choose from. So let's go train. I've just used all my a lot of cards up from season one on um, getting that John Cena. But um, if we scroll down, I think I can find my season one cards. There we are. So I'll I'll pick the J. I, I I really don't care about these cards. Like, I see people on YouTube saying, "Oh no, I can't believe I'm discarding my cards." I know they've got better cards than me, but honestly, they're pretty they're, they're rendered useless now that season two's out. You're gonna get lost. So. Proceed, let's, I don't think, uh, uh, this will bring you under the minimum card, are you sure? yes, are you about to lose a rare card, yes, so let's see, what. I don't think he's going to level up that much, because I don't really have that many good cards, I am a liar, there we go, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I did not realise it was going to go up that much, so we have just maxed out John Cena already, I did not expect that to happen, that is a hell of a lot. So we have got how many tokens? Have we got we've got three tokens to use on boosting this John Cena up. Can I use my tokens to power up Terry Funk? So if I go and improve, no. So you you can only use the tokens to train up the person that you you got the tokens from. So if we go on improving John Cena, let's look at his his worst stat is his speed. So um, if I add that. That'd make his stats go up plus nine. Um, let's use two of the tokens so he gets up to one six five, one six um, yeah one six five, and then let's put one on. Uh, what's the ability then? Attitude adjustment plus fourteen to charisma. He's got a lot of charisma, so I'm not really too bothered about that. If I add it, 
it'd go up to to 18. So let's use two of them on the speed and one of them on the toughness. So confirm tokens. Yes. There we go, 165 and now 167 for John Cena. That is a pretty good John Cena. There you go. So he's a fully maxed out John Cena. Um, Terry Funk, well below John Cena now. But there you go, guys. Um, why don't we train up John? Why don't we train up Terry Funk as well? So if I go and I don't think I've got many cards left to be honest from season one. Um, I've got a few of these that I won't be using. So um, oh, we've got two Bo Dallas's there. Um, hang on. Let me go on my next page. So these are really the only cards I've got left. I might as well use them all up. So yeah, proceed. Let's go. It's not going to add it to much. See how many it gets. It got up to level 5, which isn't too bad. You've leveled up Terry Funk there. He's gone up plus 8 all stats. So yeah, that's okay. Um, we've not quite got a token yet, but that's fine. So um, yeah, the deck's looking quite good now. So... Let's go into, we are now, we're still rare level. Let's go into this match against this guy. Test out the new John Cena. We might kick things off in the King of the Ring as well. I'll see how this episode goes. But so far, we're doing good. We've got a really good John Cena. I've got to remember to make my champ John Cena as well. Because Terry Funk is my champ. Seriously, does not look cool. So, um, right, toughness. We're going to use the new improved toughness stat for John Cena. There you go, and he has got a cane, but his cane is not leveled up at all, so we should be absolutely fine here. We are going to smash him to pieces with the AA. There we go, John Cena 1-0. Solar match speed, we have got a very poor 1-1-13, but yeah, there we go. He's got he's only got a uh, uncommon card there. No, Not really a surprising, since we're in the, uh, the rare category, you're not expecting to come up that many good cards. Solo match, power, and charisma will add the plus 7 to Mark Henry just to make sure we get the 3 0 win. There you go, Mark Henry is definitely getting the win there. So, um, there you go. Mark Henry off the top rope? I don't think so. But there you go, 3 0, and we get two cards to open there, guys. So, um, let's wait until it loads. Here we go. I really like how you get an energy card at the end of every match, but that kind of like renders. Energy cards are useless because now you can get them like literally in 10 seconds of playing a match. Um, so why don't they just remove energy cards altogether? Because it was harder last game to get them. So it sort of made energy cards kind of special. But now you can get it after every game. They're not, they might as well just take the whole feature out of the game in my opinion. Um, what have we got? We got a Money in the Bank briefcase. That looks awesome. So 6 the toughness and 6 the speed. That's an uncommon one. And we have got a Darren Young common card. So not great there. Um, obviously, we got the energy card as well. So we're going to proceed. Um, let's have a look. Um, ladder awards. Oh, I went on the wrong thing. Edit deck, sorry. And we are going to change out. I think I just got a... I got a plus six to toughness and speed. Let's add that one. And um, let's swap this one out for an uncommon... Ooh, well, I can have has toughness in it, so... I don't really want two toughness ones in the same deck. So we'll, we'll keep we'll keep that on how it is. Um, but yeah, let's go on to the next match. Let's play WWE Fangirl. Four wins, two losses. Let's see how this one goes. This one's going to be great. I'm going to actually going to kick things off. I'm going to kick things off in the King of the Ring. So close the episode out as well, guys. So yeah, make sure you, you tune in to the end of the video to watch that. So what is it? Divas, toughness, and charisma. We will add plus seven to our charisma there and go for... We're going to have to go for Summer because she's got 70. Um, she's got Natalia with 73, but she might not add a special card. Does she? No, she doesn't. So there you go, Summer with the win there. What? What? Are you having a laugh? So it's 1-1. One, one. There you go. Power Toughness. We're going to use John Cena there, obviously. We have beat him so bloody easily. There you go. John Cena is unmatched in this um, category. There you go. Rare John Cena with the Beast. Toughness and speed. I don't know if we've got this one, guys. Um, I'm going to be honest. Alicia Fox isn't the greatest card on the game, but she's got Emra. Let's see how this one goes down. Oh, waiting on network. There you go. Emma gets the win. So it's 2-2. Extra match. We've got to use Terry Funk in this one. I'm going to be honest. Um, power, charisma. Yeah, let's just hope he's got like an uncommon card or something like that. Ah, he's got Adam Rose. I have leveled up Terry Funk though, but I'm not sure how he's going to do in this one. There we go. Yes. Terry Funk with the win. 2-3. Wow, that was a big scoreline, wasn't it? There you go, guys. 2-3 to Tom Cushney. There you go. So the new John Cena card is just literally, you just win every time. 
It's just too unfair. Right, what we're going to pay? Oh, with a super rare level now. I did not realize that. That must have been when we added the um, the new um, support card. Oh, we got an, uh, ooh, an uncommon Alicia Fox. So that is our best diva card so far. Next one we get is an energy card. So two energy cards. Do you have a laugh? There you go. So we're going to have to put in Alicia Fox now, which honestly is a lot better than this card. This card is probably one of the worst cards on the game. So we're going to swap this one out for a uncommon Alicia Fox. But she's still got a yellow one, so she goes okay with Summer Rae. Um, have I, I, might, I might actually add in Eve Marie because her chemistry works better. Shall I add Eve Marie? Hang on, why won't it let me... Yeah, there we go. So we got Ali uh, So she goes better with Alicia Fox because she's got the bottom segment. She's got the top segment. We were okay with these two as well. John Cena doing grey. And we've got Terry Funk as well. So there you go, guys. Um, so yeah, we're going to maybe have a look at this as well. Yeah, let's have a look at the Brock Lesnar versus Undertaker PCC. Um, tap to play. Who will be... The people's champion. I'm gonna go with Brock Lesnar because Brock Lesnar is my guy. Um, let's see who's winning. Actually, I don't have. I don't actually know who's winning. Um, hurry up! Choose your superstar now. Brock Lesnar, obviously. So there you go, Brock Lesnar. Wow, wow! Undertaker's winning by almost double. So we're gonna play for our superstar. Let's play for our superstar. Um, I'm sure you guys are kind of. Um, we'll kind of know what the rewards are. But if you want to have a quick look at the rewards. You've got a, well, rank 1 to 5 is obviously a legendary Brock Lesnar or Undertaker and Sheamus or Randy Orton. You've got, there you go. You can just read it yourself, really. I mean, it it goes up to maybe like 5, I think there's like a prize up to like like 5,000, is it, maybe? Alright, we're going even more. Bloody hell. Like, you get, you're get you getting down to sort of, I think, hang on a second. Like, these are good prizes. Like... You're you're getting you're getting a legendary Randy Orton if you're in the top three thousand. I mean, it's pretty pretty decent. So let's go into let's play for our superstar. We've got a pretty good deck. Double points, po possible points won for next game. No, we don't want to use that. Um, right, who should we face? Let's face let's face Philip, who has won six, lost eight. Let's play this guy. Here we go, guys. I wonder what rank we're going to finish in at the end of this whole People's Champion thing. We're fighting for Brock Lesnar. He's fighting for Undertaker. Oh, I need to change my champion. This is embarrassing. <sighs> I don't scare opponents with a bloody Terry Funk avatar. Anyway, toughness and charisma. We are going to go with John Cena. There you go. He's got a Eric Rowan uncommon card. Easiest match so far. You've got to agree. There you go. John Cena with the AA. Solo match power charisma. We are going to add plus seven to his charisma, which isn't too great. Oh, he's gone un He's got a common Bray Wyatt. I have no surprise this guy's lost eight matches. I mean, you're definitely losing. I've already won in the first two matches, and he has hardly put up a fight. There you go. Solo match power. You've got to go with Mark Henry. And I, I even beat his Roman Reigns there. So 3-0 to me. Doesn't get much easier than that, to be honest, guys. There you go. 3-0 to the Tom Cushney. There you go, guys. What a beast. So, plus one win. Well, hey, we are, well, 654, 100,000, 654,000 wins for Brock Lesnar. You're ranked 95,000. So, yeah, you, I mean, 95,000 with one win. Not too bad. Right, let's open Colin Cassidy. We've already had him. And a Charisma. So, you can actually add that to a card. So, if we proceed, I, I might play that a little bit later. But if we go on Exhibition, then you go on Terry Funk, and then you go on Improve. Was it Charisma? Yeah, it was. So he's got 116 Charisma, which isn't too bad. But um, you can actually add it. So yeah, plus 4 Charisma. Are you trying to... Anyhow, that will be deleted. Yes. So it goes up to 120. So you've got... a hundred. You've got gone up 4 points there to 120. But it only works for 5 games, but it's okay. It might be the difference between a win and a loss. So you might as well use them. There's nothing else you can use them for, really, except training your other cards up. But yeah, I think it's pretty decent. So there you go. We've added 4 points to his charisma for the next 4 games. It'd be cool if it lasted a little bit longer, but um, it's not too bad. Right, let's go into King of the Ring to close this episode off. So, um, King of the Ring, where am I going? Yeah, that's where I want to be. Um, you can actually also fill them now. So if I auto fill. It adds that. So, I want to have, 
What was my tag? Oh, go away. Um, I what was my tag team before? Why right, I want to have John Cena there. You want to have Terry Funk as a solo guy as well, and you want to have Mark Henry because they're my three best cards. Diva, you're gonna have um, yeah. Let's ha oh balls. Um, we'll have Alicia Fox as her uh, Diva on her own. Yeah, we'll go for the. I think that's the best. Wait, hang on. Let me have a look at the other cards. Yeah, we got Sunray and Alicia Fox, the best two cards. Yeah. So we're gonna have to use Eva Marie because she's got a her segment goes better with this card. Um, the uh, so we've got two tag teams. Um, let's have a look at this. So you got a book of tea. Why is it put those two together? Um, let's swap this one out and go for. We're gonna have to go for. Do you know what I'm gonna add? I'm gonna put Mark Henry there because we need a better tag team than that. That is absolutely shocking. Um, what else have we got? We've got a... So we've got Booker T. We'll use Edge there and we'll add Colin Cassidy because their segments go well together. It's not too bad for a starting King of the Ring team. But there you go. So we... Oh, we've got Jack Swagger. Bloody hell. Have we not got a better card than that? Why is it always waiting on network? Right. Have we not got a better card than that? Have we used Edge? I think we've already used Edge. Yeah, let's use Jack Swagger. He appears to be a little bit better. Support cards. Um... I'm going to swap that one out and put in a charisma. Charisma, because some of my cards have really bad charisma. So there you go. Um, begin King of the Ring. Yes. Waiting on more players. So there you go. We've kicked off King of the Ring. I'll update you guys on the next video, how we do on that sort of King of the Ring thing. We'll have one more match of the People's Champ. Um, and then we'll close this off. So play for your superstar. We will play up against this guy who has plus one. Four wins, four losses. See how we do with that one. And then we'll close today's episode off. It's been a good episode. We've done quite a lot. Loads of different things. We've got a lot of things stuck into this video. And hopefully we can... Uh, you guys can keep smashing the likes and keep doing well with this video. Um, speed and charisma. We're going to go with John Cena with this one. And he has got a common Sin Cara. So there you go. It's a really nice card, that Sin Cara. That Sin Cara, oh my god, I thought he'd won there. That Sin Cara, but um, yeah, he's, he's unmatched against the Jown Cena. Terry Funk with this one, and there you go. No surprise, this guy's got four wins and four losses when he's playing the Eric Rowan card. There you go, the Cesaro swing by Terry Funk. Last one is Charisma, we'll add plus seven just to see if we get a 3-0 win there. And we didn't even need to use it. There you go, Mark Henry. Come on, lad. Come on, come on. There you go. What's Mark Henry doing? A splash off the top rope? I don't think so. There you go. Mark Henry with the win. And that closes off the People's Champion with two wins. Zero losses. Let's see what two cards we get. And we'll close today's episode off. So, let's see what our rank is. It might be like, you know, 60,000 maybe. Let's have a look. What rank do you think we are? Oh, we're still 95,000. You have a laugh, lad. I thought it would be, you know, we're, we're undefeated. We're doing quite well, but there you go. What's our first card? Damien Sandow. Daniel Bryan. That's pretty good. There you go, guys. So we got a Daniel Bryan. Let's have a look. We can, we can actually add into our starting lineup now. So we'll swap out this book of tea. And we'll add in Daniel Bryan. There you go, guys. So that is the starting lineup now. Pretty good. Eight wins, one loss. Have we got any more players for this King of the Ring? No, we haven't. There you go. I'm going to have to add in that Daniel Bryan when I get a chance as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Smash the likes. Take care. Spike your hair.